ego. Table of Contents, Vigo. All about Vigo. With visiting and touring information. Geography. History. Attractions. And other points of interest. Dr. Sidney Stokloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by. Dr. Sidney Sokloff, Zoe Phonemes, and Nathan Coltov. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one slash YT Navigator. Galicia. Hail the various regions of Spain. Malaga and Cadiz sign the region of Andalusia in the south of Spain. Barcelona is in Catalonia or Catalonia in the northeast corner of Spain. Next to Aragon and just south of France. Galicia is in northwestern Spain. Just to the north of Portugal and bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the west and the Bay of Biscay on the north. Here is the location of Vigo and the pilgrimage city of Santiago de Compostela. In the region of Galicia. In the northwestern corner of Spain. Galicia is an autonomous region of Spain with a population of 2.8 million. Galicia occupies the extreme northwestern corner of the Iberian Peninsula and was called Finisterre, or Finister, by the Romans as they believed it was the end of the world. Galicia has a jagged coastline formed by a succession of deep estuaries and rocky inlets called rias, rich in seafood and wildlife. Galicia is cooler. Damper climate has earned it the nickname of the Green Spain and made it a popular retreat for Spaniards keen to evade the searing summer heat and enjoy lush country scenery and some of the world's freshest and finest seafood. This is a map of the rainfall in Spain. We see that parts of Galicia in the northwest corner receive over 48 inches, 120 cm, annually in contrast. In parts of Andalusia in the southeast corner, the rainfall is less than 16 inches, 40 cm. Galicia is bordered by Portugal to the south and has its own official language, which is halfway between Spanish and Portuguese. The four provinces of Galicia are Coronaja, Lugo, Arantz and Pontevedra. It borders Portugal to the south. The Spanish regions of Castile and Leon and Asturias to the east, and the Atlantic Ocean to the north and west. Galicia was one of the first kingdoms of Europe. The Kingdom of Galicia. Here is the population distribution of Spain and its principal urban areas. The total population of Spain is 47 million. Although the major urban areas are around Madrid in the Meseta Central and Barcelona in Catalonia. The rest of the population is concentrated in the south in Andalusia in the region of Seville, Cordova, Granada, Cadiz, and Malaga, and to a lesser extent in Galicia in the northwest corner of Spain. Vigo is on the west coast facing the Atlantic Ocean and is one of the main cities of Galicia. Santiago de Compostela is the capital of Galicia and the home of the shrine which gave rise to medieval Europe's most famous pilgrimage route. The Way of St. James. Other main cities of Galicia are Acorunaya and Pontevedra. A remarkable feature of Galicia is the presence of many fjord-like indentations on the coast. These high estuaries that we drowned by rising sea levels after the Ice Age. 
These are called rias and are divided into the rias altas to the north and the rias bixis to the south. A remarkable feature of Galicia is the presence of many fjord-like indentations on the coast. These are estuaries that were drowned by rising sea levels after the Ice Age. These are called rias and are divided into the rias altas to the north and the rias bixis to the south. The rias are important for fishing and make the coast an important fishing area. The spectacular landscapes and wildness of the coast attract great numbers of tourists. The coast of this green corner of the Iberian Peninsula is also known as the, the Seafood Coast or a Costa do Marisco in Galician. Galicia's name is derived from the Celtic Galicia who lived for when the Roman legions conquered the region in 137 BC. This is a map of the Celtic area in Europe. Note that Galicia and most of Spain and all of Portugal was in the Celtic region in ancient times. Galicia has a rich Celtic heritage, reminiscent of the traditions found in Ireland. Scotland or Brittany, and reflected in its music, with the use of gaitas, or bagpipes. Indeed. The northwest corner of Spain is considered part of the Celtic fringe. Galicia has a Celtic heritage and some remnants of Celtic culture. However, the people there no longer speak a Celtic language and no Celtic language has been spoken in northern Iberia since the Middle Ages. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Galicia was under the rule of the Suevians and then the Visigoths. In Roman and Visigothic times, Galicia stretched south to the Duero River in present-day Portugal and eastward beyond Leon in Spain. Galicia was a kingdom from 411 to 585, and again in the 11th century after the death of Ferdinand I, king of Castile and Leon. It came under Spanish domination late in the 15th century in 1833. It was divided into the present provinces. For about 30 years, from 730 AD to 760 AD, Galicia and most of Spain was under the control of the Moors. As the Reconquista gradually rolled south over the centuries, Galicia came under the control of the Kingdom of Leon. Galicia came under the control of the Kingdom of Spain after the union of the Kingdom of Castile and the Kingdom of Aragon through the marriage in 1469 of Queen Isabella I and King Ferdinand II. Most of the people speak Galician, a language related to Portuguese. The spoken languages are Galician, Galician, Galego the local language derived from Latin, and closely related to Portuguese, both being Galician Portuguese languages, and Spanish. Spanish was the only official language for more than two centuries from the 16th through 19th centuries. Spain has four official languages, Castilian Spanish, Catalan, Galician, and Basque. Castilian is the official language nationwide. The other languages are official regionally. Here is the distribution of the languages spoken in Spain. Castilian Spanish is 74%, Catalan 17%, Galician 7%, and Basque 2%. Here are the regions where the languages are spoken. Catalan is spoken in Catalonia and the area around Barcelona, as well as down much of the east coast of Spain, including Valencia. Galician is mainly confined to Galicia in northwestern Spain, and Basque is spoken around Bilbao in the north of Spain. Since the end of the 20th century, the Galician language has also had an official status, 
and both languages are taught English in schools. There is a broad consensus of support within the region for efforts to preserve the Galician language. Galician, in Galician, Galego, is a language of the Western Ibero-Romance branch. Spoken in Galicia in small bordering zones in the neighboring autonomous communities of Asturias and Castile and León. In medieval times, Galician and Portuguese were a single language linguists called Galician Portuguese, Medieval Galician, or Old Portuguese, spoken in the territories initially ruled by the medieval kingdom of Galicia. The Galician and Portuguese languages are derived from the early Galician Portuguese, Galego Portuguese, or Middle Ages Portuguese, spoken in Galicia and the north of Douro regions in Portugal. Some Galician people still consider them to be two dialects of the same language, Galician Portuguese. For some Galician people, the Galician and Portuguese languages began to diverge in the Middle Ages of development hastened by political separation. However, there remain many similarities between Portuguese and Galician. Mutual intelligibility is good between Galicians and Portuguese speakers. There is a public debate in Galicia about their language and its relationship with the Portuguese language. Some people hold that the Galician language is autonomous and separate, while others maintain that Galician is a variant of the Portuguese language, such as Brazilian Portuguese. This is an example of words in English. Galician, Portuguese, and Spanish. Reintegrationism is the linguistic and cultural movement in Galicia that advocates for the unity of Galician and Portuguese as a single language. They say that the Galician and Portuguese languages not only share common origin and literary tradition but that they are in fact variants of the same language. Accordingly, Galicia should age integrate into the community of Portuguese language countries. The opposite view holds that Portuguese and Galician should be viewed as distinct languages, which is called isolationism. Here are more words in English. Galician, Portuguese, and Spanish. Vigo Vigo is the largest city in Galicia in terms of population. Located in the province of Pontevedra. Vigo also is the largest and capital city in Spain. This is the flag of Vigo. It is generally accepted that the name Vigo comes from the Latin word Vicus meaning village. Vigo is in the southern part of Galicia close to the border with Portugal. Vigo is on the banks of the Ria de Vigo near the mouth of the Vigo River. The city has a naval station and an active port. The island of Keys, visible in the distance, is an important nature reserve. Vigo is the leading industrial area in Galicia, with a population of 300,000. It has car factories, shipyards, and auxiliary industries. Vigo lies along the southeastern shore of the Rio de Vigo inlet of the Atlantic Ocean. The History of Vigo Galicia has played unwilling host to successive hordes of invaders, including the Celts, the Romans, the Visigoths, the Moors, the French and the British, who made a habit of invading Galicia between the 14th and 19th centuries. In 1585 and 1589, Francis Drake raided the city and temporarily occupied it, leaving many buildings burnt. Several decades later, a Turkish fleet tried to attack the city. As a result, 
The walls of the city were built in 1656 during the reign of Felipe IV. They are still partially preserved. During this time, and despite the attacks, the city of Vigo developed its earliest commerce and was given several privileges by the kings of Spain. In 1702, the Battle of Vigo Bay was a naval engagement during the opening years of the War of the Spanish Succession. Then in 1719, Vigo was temporarily seized by an English fleet because a Spanish fleet departed from Vigo and attempted to invade Scotland to support the Jacobites. In 1808 the French army annexed Spain to the Napoleonic Empire. Although Vigo remained unconquered until January 1809. Vigo was also the first city of Galicia to be freed from French rule in what is now celebrated as the Reconquista, reconquest from the French in the context of the Peninsular War, on March 28 each year. Vigo grew very rapidly in the 19th and 20th centuries. This resulted in continuous urban planning changes, making Vigo less structured than a Fagalitian towns. Vigo is one of the largest and most important fishing ports in Europe and is known for its freezing and canning industry. It is also well known for its fishing industry, shipyards, food, cultural and nightlife, and football soccer team. Celta de Vigo. Vigo is the home port of the world's largest fishing company, Pescanova. Vigo is also the headquarters of the European Fisheries Agency. The fishing industry has been the mainstay of Vigo's economy for centuries. Hueva. Oil spills in the early 21st century polluted the waters and killed some marine life. Vigo's other industries now include leather, lumber, flour, paper, sugar, brandy, and machinery. Situated in Vigo is Galicia's leading employer, Sapergio Citroën, which produces 300,000 vehicles annually, of which more than 82% are sold outside Spain. Vigo's architecture gives a modern impression, though a few old buildings remain. These include the medieval chapel of the Casa de Caridad. The neoclassical, built to commemorate the defeat of the French in the Peninsular War, 1808-1814. And the 17th century Castillo del Castro. Ships dock at the Moye de Transatlanticos, close to the central area of this fortress city. This is just across the palm tree lined Avenida del Castillo waterfront promenade. The University of Vigo is in a mountainous area outside the city. It is an important research center focusing on studies related to ocean based industries. The university has other campuses in Pontevedra and Urens. Vigo Points of Interest This is a map showing some of the principal attractions of Vigo. Vigo's urban area is built over a hill fort Castro and a Roman settlement. A good view of Vigo is from Castillo del Castro. The Citadel or El Castro, was built under the reign of Philip IV and was one of the three principal forts guarding the city. This is the central area of Vigo. One of Vigo's most historic streets is the Calle, or Rua, Real, which was the main thoroughfare of the old city. It is lined with traditional Galician houses and lies at the heart of the National Monument area. At the end of Calle Real is Alameda Square. Adjacent to Alameda Square is the Casa de Arines, a fine example of the highly ornate Galician style of architecture. Calle de los Esteros, 
The Street of the Biscuit Mookers. Features. As its name suggests. Many little shops selling local basket work. Calle de la Pescaderia. Known as the fish market. Is very atmospheric. Colorful. And one of the best stock in Europe. Nearby is the Santa Maria Cathedral. Which feature has some beautiful 16th century mosaics. This is the Sanctuary of the Virgin de las Nieves, o Lady of the Snows. Work began on the construction of the Quinaya Holmes de Leon Palace in 1670. It is one of Vigo's most beautiful buildings. The building was restored at the end of the 19th and beginning of the 20th centuries, and is now home to the Quinaya Holmes de Leon Municipal Museum. The Quinya Hones de Leon Municipal Museum has an exhibition of local history from the time of the area's Celtic Hill Forts. This includes archaeological remains found in the city and surrounding areas, and an interesting collection of paintings from Galicia. The Quinya Hones de Leon Municipal Museum is in Castrolis Park with beautiful surroundings and stunning French-style gardens. These are cobblestone walkways in Vigo. This is a view of Vigo. Across from the port is Ribera del Berbace, the old fishing quarter of the city that was once the central part of the old city of Vigo. These are the stone streets of the Barrio del Berbace. The old port area. The Gran Via de Vigo is the best place for shopping in Vigo and the largest shopping center. There are more than 100 stores for clothing, accessories, services, food, leisure, cinemas, restaurants, and free parking. This is the Gran Via de Vigo shopping center. El Corte Ingles is a famous Spanish department store in the Gran Via de Vigo shopping center. It does not observe the typical 2 to 4.30 p.m. closing. This is a view over Vigo from Castello do Castro. The Vigo Museum of Contemporary Art, Galician. Museo de Arte Contemporanei de Vigo, abbreviated Marco, displays changing exhibitions of contemporary art but has no permanent collection. The building dates from the 19th century. Originally built as a public prison. This is the Centro Cultural Que Xenova, a major theater and auditorium venue for Vigo. This was previously known as Garcia Barban Theater and was built in 1927. Vigo has many examples of rationalist architecture. A modern style of architecture based on logical and mathematically ordered design. Vigo lies on the slopes of a hill crowned by two old forts. The Castillo de San Sebastian, altitude 55 meters or 180 feet, and the Castillo del Castro, Height 125 meters or 410 feet, from which there are extensive views in clear weather. This is the Estación de Autobuses in Vigo. This is the Porta do Sol in Vigo. This is an oath view of Vigo. This shows the location of the Randa Bridge. Spanning Vigo Bay and across the Randa Strait. The Randa Bridge, Galician, Puente de Randa. Spanish, Puente de Randa, is a cable stayed bridge 9 kilometers from the city of Vigo and 18 kilometers from the city of Pontevedra. In the province of Pontevedra, Spain. It spans Vigo Bay across the Randa Strait, linking the municipalities of Redondela and Monaija. This is the Randa Bridge over the Rio de Vigo. 
This is Lauria de Vigo. These are the cheese islands. Part of the municipality of Vigo and the Atlantic Islands of Galicia National Park. They can be reached by ferry from the Maritime Terminal. This shows the location of the cheese islands. The islands are at the mouth of the Vigoria. With beautiful beaches and 15,000 nesting pairs of show birds. Bayona La Real is a 15th century fishing village 11 miles, 17 kilometers, southwest of Vigo. This is the La Taja Resort on the island of La Taja, or in Galician, Ila da Taxa. The island is 19 miles, 31 kilometers, north of Vigo and 63 kilometers by road. Santiago de Compostela Santiago de Compostela is the capital of Galicia, and the home of the shrine which gave rise to medieval Europe's most famous pilgrimage route, the Way of St. James. Santiago de Compostela is about 60 miles north of Vigo. Santiago de Compostela, also known as St. James of Compostela, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Located in the northwest of Spain in the province of La Coronaja. It was the European City of Culture for the year 2000. The city's cathedral is the destination today, as it has been throughout history, of the important 9th century medieval pilgrimage route, the Way of St. James, in Galician, Caminayajo de Santiago in Spanish, Camino de Santiago. Tradition has it that the remains of the Apostle St. James the Great are buried here. St. James is sometimes depicted as St. James the Merslayer and St. James the Pilgrim. Legend holds that St. James's remains were carried by boat from Jerusalem to northern Spain, where he was buried on the site of what is now the city of Santiago de Compostela. Some, however, Claim that the bodily remains at Santiago belong to Priscillian, the 4th century Galician leader of an ascetic Christian sect, Priscillianism, who was one of the first Christian heretics to be executed. The Way of St. James or St. James Way, in Galician, O Caminayajo de Santiago, and in Spanish, El Camino de Santiago is the pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela in Galicia in northwestern Spain. The Way of St. James has existed for over a thousand years. It was one of the most important Christian pilgrimages during medieval times. The Way of St. James was considered one of three pilgrimages on which a plenary indulgence could be earned. The others are the Via Francigena to Rome and the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. The way can take one of any number of pilgrimage routes to Santiago de Compostela. Traditionally, as with most pilgrimages, the way of St. James began at one's home and ended at the pilgrimage site. However, a few of the routes are considered the main ones. During the Middle Ages the route was highly traveled. However, the Black Plague, the Protestant Reformation and political unrest in 16th century Europe resulted in its decline. By the 1980s, only a few pilgrims had arrived in Santiago annually. However, since then, the route has attracted a growing number of modern-day pilgrims from around the globe. The route was declared the first European cultural route by the Council of Europe in October 1987. It was also named one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites in 1993. The scallop shell, typically found on the shores in Galicia, has long been the symbol of the Camino de Santiago. Over the centuries, the scallop shell has taken on mythical metaphorical and practical meanings. There are different accounts of the mythical origin of the symbol. 
Which statement is taken depends on who is telling the story. Two versions of the most common myth are James the Greater, the brother of John, was killed in Jerusalem for his convictions about his brother. James had spent some time preaching on the Iberian Peninsula. Version 1 After James' death, his disciples ship his body to the Iberian Peninsula to be buried in what is now Santiago. A heavy storm hit the ship off the coast of Spain, and the body was lost to the ocean. After some time, however, the body washed ashore undamaged, covered in scallops. Version 2 After James' death, his body was mysteriously transported by a ship with no crew back to the Iberian Peninsula to be buried in what is now Santiago. As James' ship approached land, a wedding was taking place on the shore. The young bridegroom was on horseback, and on seeing the ship approaching, his horse got spooked, and the horse and rider plunged into the sea. Through a miraculous intervention, the horse and rider emerged from the water alive, covered in seashells. Besides being a mythical symbol, the scallop shell is also a metaphor. The grooves in the shell, which come together at a single point, represent the various routes pilgrims traveled, eventually arriving at a single destination, the tomb of St. James in Santiago de Compostela. The scallop shell is also a metaphor for the pilgrim. As the waves of the ocean wash scallop shells up on the shores of Galicia, God's hand also guided the pilgrims to Santiago. The scallop shell also served practical purposes for pilgrims on the Camino de Santiago. The shell was the right size for gathering water or eating out of a makeshift bowl. Also, because the scallop shell is native to the shores of Galicia, the shell functioned as proof of completion. By having a scallop shell, a pilgrim could almost certainly prove that they had finished the pilgrimage and had seen the end of the world, which was the western coast of Spain at that point in history. The reference to St. James rescuing a knight covered in scallops refers to St. James healing or resurrecting a dying setting sun knight. Note also that the knight obviously would have had to be under the waters of death for quite some time for shellfish to have grown over him. Similarly, the notion of the Sea of Darkness, Atlantic Ocean, disgorging St. James' body so that his relics are allegedly buried at Santiago de Compostela on the coast is itself a metaphor for rising out of death, that is, resurrection. Pilgrims on the way of St. James walk for weeks or months to visit the city of Santiago de Compostela. They can follow many routes. Any path to Santiago is a pilgrim's path. But the most popular route is the French Way or Camino for Onces. The French Way, Spanish, Camino Franques, runs from St. Jean Pied de Port on the French side of the Pyrenees to Roncesvalles on the Spanish side before making its way through to Santiago de Compostela through the major cities of Pamplona. La Granayajo, Burgos and Leon. Some Europeans begin their pilgrimage from the very doorstep of their homes, just as their medieval counterparts did hundreds of years ago. However, many pilgrims begin further afield, in one of the four French towns which are common and traditional starting points, Lipuy, Vézelay, Arles and Tour, Cluny. The site of the celebrated medieval abbey was another important rallying point for pilgrims in 2002. It was integrated into the official European pilgrimage route linking Vézelay and Lipuy. Some pilgrims start from even further away, though their routes will often pass through one of the four French towns mentioned. 
the way of St. James extends from all corners of Europe, including North Africa, to Santiago de Compostela and Finister. The local authorities try to restore many of the ancient routes, even those used for a limited period, in the interest of tourism. The climate of Vigo. Will it be hot? Or will it be cold in Vigo? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Vigo. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Vigo. The rainfall in Vigo. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Vigo. The total yearly rainfall is 75 inches, or 1909 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Vigo. Here is the average number of days per month, with precipitation, throughout the year in Vigo. Except for the summer dry season, it rains about 11 to 15 days every month in Vigo. Recommended videos, Vigo. Recommended video, top 10 best tourist places to visit in Vigo. Recommended video, Vigo top 45 tourist places. Recommended video, 15 things to do in Galicia, Spain. Recommended video, Galicia, Spain, Santiago de Compostela. Recommended video, Vigo City, 2 minutes, 49 seconds. Recommended video, YouTube navigation. Recommended videos. Walking tours of Vigo. For a street level experience of Vigo, view the video walking tours. It's the next best thing to being there. Recommended videos, walking tour of Vigo, Spain playlist. Recommended videos. Follow an immersion into the traditional music of Galicia. View the playlist. It's the next best thing to being fey. Recommended videos. Music of Galicia playlists. Galician song playlist 46 videos or Galician music 138 videos. Table of contents. Vigo. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.